What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. For those of you that don't know, my name is Antonio Matuire and I own a 2017 BMW 340i. So I got a DM on my Instagram the other day and it was from this company that does steering wheel covers. As you guys know, if you've been following me on my black 428i, I also did a steering wheel cover. Pretty much just makes the steering wheel look really good. You have to stitch it on yourself. It's a very long, tedious process, but in the end it looks great. And so this company reached out to me, asked me if I wanted a custom steering wheel and they actually custom made it for me. So I'm, I'm pretty excited to go ahead and unwrap it for you guys and show you guys what it looks like and everything that came with the package as well as um, install it in today's video. So with that being said, let's go ahead and check out the package. So I did want to give a huge shout out to Muent steering wheel covers. Uh, they actually sent this out to me free of charge. Um, so if you guys do want to purchase one for yourself after watching the video, I will leave a link down in the description so you guys can pick one up for yourself. So as you guys can see, this is the box that came into the mail. The company is called Muent and that is their logo right there. And also you can see right here, Muent steering wheel covers. So let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, so it looks like it came with some supplies right here. And it looks like this is the actual steering wheel cover. So let's go ahead and open this up. That actually looks really, really good. And when they reached out to me, they assured me that it was real leather. And I can tell you right now, it is definitely real leather. And they made this custom white stripe at the top to go ahead and match the BMW. But overall, this thing looks really, really good. Um, the stitching looks very well done. It also came with this step-by-step uh, -step guide. It'll show you step-by-step -step on what you need to do. And the tricky thing on the last uh, installation I did with one of these was the stitching. And it looks like here in these instructions, it shows you exactly how to stitch it and then exactly how to install it. So overall, uh, I'm very happy with the instructions it came with. As far as the contents in this packaging, looks like you get a little plastic trim piece, I'm guessing to tuck the leather into the steering wheel. You're gonna get some blue string, and they gave me two of those. This string comes with the needle that you'll need in order to stitch it. You'll get some, so yeah, the double-sided adhesive in order to put on the steering wheel cover and your steering wheel. And then look at that, they even gave you a little thimble for your thumb so that way when you're pushing the needle, uh, you, you won't hurt your thumb. So what you see here is what you're gonna get in the package. So let's go ahead and get to installing this thing. All right, so we are in the cabin of my vehicle. So there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can take off the steering wheel and then install the steering wheel cover that way. Or you can just leave the steering wheel installed and then install the steering wheel cover. So for the purposes of this video, that is what I'm going to be doing today. I'm just going to be leaving the steering wheel installed and then installing the cover while it's in the vehicle. So the first thing we're gonna be doing is just pretty much test fitting the steering wheel cover to the steering wheel. When you're doing that, you wanna be paying attention to which side is which. So the F is for front, the B is for back. So you wanna just make sure you're lining it up correctly. It's gonna go in this orientation. So once you test fit it, it should look something like this. You just wanna make sure everything lines up. If you do get a steering wheel cover with a stripe, Make sure the stripe is directly lined up with this center emblem right here. Make sure that you have enough slack in the front as well as in the back on both sides. So that way you are able to tuck it in. So once you're content with uh, how everything's lined up, then you'll be using the double-sided sticky tape and you're just gonna be putting it along the inside of the steering wheel cover. Let me go ahead and do that step off camera and then I'll get back with you guys to show you what it looks like after uh, you're done. So I just finished up with the tape. As you can see, you wanna make sure that you're not putting it directly on the stitches. I think the instructions say put it five millimeters away from here. So just make sure that you're putting, you're leaving yourself enough clearance. So that way when you do end up stitching it, um, the tape isn't interfering with the stitches. Just make sure that you have coverage everywhere because pretty much this is what's gonna keep the steering wheel in place while you're stitching. And before you peel the tape and actually stick it to the wheel, look at it one more time and actually make sure it's exactly where you want it. Make sure that once you do stitch it, it's gonna end up stitching right in the middle of the steering wheel and it kind of matches with the old stitching. So when you clinch it together like this, they should meet perfectly in the middle, especially up here with this line, make sure when you pinch it, uh, it's gonna come out even and it's not gonna be wonky. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and peel the backing off of all the tape and then stick it into place before we start stitching. All right, so I went ahead and stuck the adhesive 
should look a little something like this once again it's not gonna look perfect not until you're done stitching everything but this is just what's gonna kind of hold it in place and kind of give you an idea so now let me go ahead and switch to my gopro head mount and then we'll go ahead and start the stitching process okay right, so i do apologize my gopro is actually dead so i ended up starting on one side before i even did the other side but that's okay because this side didn't turn out perfect so i'm kind of glad it ended up being that way so for this side i can show you guys exactly what you need to do to make sure it's perfect so obviously you're going to grab your needle along with your thread and you're going to have to cut the thread i like to just measure it out if you think realistically you're going to be crisscrossing back and forth in this little section right here so you do want a little bit extra so i would cut probably about double once you have your thread cut you're going to go ahead and feed it through the needle so you are going to want to make a knot at the end of your string so that way as you're pulling it through it won't come all the way through this needle that it comes with is not very sharp and i think they do that on purpose so you can't poke holes through the leather because you wouldn't want that so what you're going to do in order to start it where the string already starts in the stitching that's where you're going to feed this through so i'm going to go ahead and feed it through right here hopefully you guys can see that and it should go straight through just like that pull it through the knot should stop it from going all the way through what you're going to do at this point you want to start on this first one so you're going to come straight through right here pull it tight and at this point you're just going to be skipping each other one so it kind of has like an x effect so what i mean by that is looking on this back side since we started right here we're going to skip this one and go right here pull it tight same when coming to the front side since we looped through this one, we're gonna go ahead and skip through this one and then come back underneath this one right here. Just like that. So pretty much you're just gonna keep repeating this process all the way up. Very simple pattern. So I'm not gonna go ahead and spend too much time showing you guys. I'll probably just go ahead and do most of it off camera and then catch up with you guys after I'm like halfway up or something. After you're done stitching it all the way what you're gonna do next I already went ahead and did it but you're gonna take your trim tool and you're gonna tuck the excess leather behind steering wheel so just like this how you can kind of fit your tool behind there you're just gonna tuck all the excess leather make it nice and tight so that there's no wrinkles all right guys so we're just about finished uh, I do apologize I skipped a whole lot of the installation not gonna lie to you guys it was kind of a pain very tedious you really have to take your time um there's parts that you'll mess up on you have to go back there's parts that you're gonna realign like this to get this perfectly lined up i had to realign that a couple of times just other parts just didn't come together just as i expected to so i kind of just was really focused but as mentioned before you're really just gonna follow that x pattern and skip a stitch as you can see all the way up and then once you do that all the way around you should get something that looks like that it looks really good like i said it's not perfect i'm not 100 percent happy with how it turned out and that's my fault and it's probably because just the way i aligned it with the tape beforehand so yeah so it is very imperative that when you are lining up your steering wheel cover with that tape that you're lining up everything as perfect as possible so before you peel back the backing to that tape make sure it is exactly where you want it because if not you are definitely going to have issues when it comes to the stitching portion overall i'm happy with it there's a few areas where there's some imperfections i'm not going to harp on it too much but overall i think it looks really really good i did end up cutting this bottom portion right here so it did come connected and i went ahead and just cut it on both sides so that way i can just tuck it in on either side of the m but with that being said let me go ahead and run a quick cinematic so you guys can really see how it looks
really happy with how it turned out. As mentioned before, it's not perfect. There's a few spots where I'm not 100% happy with, but overall, I think it looks great. The white stripe on the top looks so good and it matches the outside of my vehicle. And I'm actually thinking about changing this middle trim portion and wrapping that white as well. But overall, I think it looks really, really good. I love how the sides are perforated leather and then up top and on the bottom, it's nice and smooth and it feels a whole lot better now. It does obviously add a little bit of grip to your steering wheel. So it just feels better in your hands while you're driving. As far as the installation, I'd probably give this one probably about like an eight out of 10 difficulty. Not really difficult in the sense of what you're doing is hard. It's just more tedious. Just the fact that you almost have to get everything lined up perfectly in order for it to stitch up correctly. So as mentioned before, if you would like to pick one up for yourself, I will leave a link in the description below. And I will also leave a code that you guys can use to save a few dollars. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. And you guys already know if you have any questions whatsoever on the install, you can hit me up on my Instagram, at Matwire. And just like that, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Excited just to see me, wish I felt the same way. Later on, she'll probably get a name change. People changing on me like they gain weight. I wish that I would.